Why is it so dusty? I bought this iPhone on Doji. Let's see what it's like. <laughs> I'll open it in just a sec, but first Doji, who I'd never heard of until a couple of weeks ago, described themselves as a trading platform for refurbished smartphones. They have two ways to buy, a sell price, which you can buy at immediately, and an offer price, which you make, and if anyone is willing to sell to you for that price, they can. Now, I bought this iPhone 11 at the sell price of £250. Because that allowed me to use a coupon code for £10 off bringing the price to 240 which also included the postage. Next, the phone is sent on to Doji by the seller for refurbishment, which means they run it through a checklist to make sure everything is working, and its condition was graded correctly, and then they sent it on to me with a year's warranty. Now, although you can see I'm holding the phone now, I must admit that not everything went so smoothly. Real quick, I'll give you the rundown, but bear in mind that they are fairly new, so cut them a little slack based on that. I first stumbled across their website googling a Sony smartphone, not this iPhone, which they happened to have in stock at half its usual price, which I thought seemed a pretty good deal. After a thorough, rigorous, and utterly watertight investigation of them, I decided to trust them with my bank details. But apparently they didn't want them as I had two orders cancelled by them over the next day, both on the same phone, because the seller was unable to fulfil the order. Finally, they admitted that they were having a bug on their site, which was automatically creating sell prices without the phones to back them up. The deal was indeed too good to be true. But it definitely wasn't all bad, because just about the first thing they sent me in chat was a £10 off coupon code. And they were very pleasant and helpful throughout all their site's shenanigans. Assuming this could all be a one-off, let's see what the phone's like when it actually arrives. It took a week to arrive, and if you consider that they had to get it, check it, and send it on to me all within that window, it's fine. Actually faster than I would have expected, especially as there were royal mail strikes across some days too. And Doji kept me well updated throughout. As you can see, there is just the phone. No cables or case, not even any paperwork. It's a little dusty, but I soon discovered the reason. Instead of bubble wrap, their padding consists of this. I don't know exactly what's in here, but it looks like lint. Maybe they were just trying to clean their tumble dryer. Better for the environment, I'm sure, but do you really want to receive your phone dusty? The iPhone itself, its condition was their lowest tier. Just good. It has many almost invisible scratches on the screen, but a couple of slightly deeper ones too. Visible even when the screen is on, but only when they catch the light. The frame has some very minor wear, but a little more around the charging port, and the most obvious cosmetic damage is scuffing on the edges of the metal camera lens housing. The battery health is at just 88%, which seems a little low, because I checked a couple of iPhone 6s, a significantly older phone, and they were only a touch lower. I guess I am slightly disappointed, not because the phone isn't in good condition, but because I recently bought a few phones from Backmark, which is a competing site for refurbished devices, and they label the condition far more modestly. Despite all of mine being just fair, they were all in better condition than this. So you can imagine, I'm not exactly blown away. In all, the phone runs fine, and price was competitive. Actually a touch cheaper than Backmarket on this phone. So it was an okay deal. But if they were the same price on both websites as some other phones are, I struggle to come up with a reason why you would buy from Doji over Backmarket. Look, really all fairly minor things. So do I recommend buying from them? Yes, obviously you save an awful lot compared to buying new, and on some phones they are cheaper than refurbished competition. Just be aware that competing services currently offer a slightly more polished service. Thank you for watching!